Um, okay, anyways. Asmongold. Speaking of mushrooms. Um, he's like... Here's what I understand about him. He is a World of Warcraft streamer or something, and he's really popular on the internet. Stop me. I'm going to I'm going to try everything's going to be wrong when I say this. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Apparently he's like a World of Warcraft streamer, right? Wrong, instantly wrong. Okay. Asmongold used to work for the IRS. That's true. That makes him a soulless automaton who will be destroyed in the afterlife. Um Where's his stream from? Which thread is he from? Well, okay, what does he do? How does he have a million dollars? He plays gotcha garbage and reacts nowadays. But where did what? And he has a prostitute wife. Is that the Asian woman that shows up on his stream? Is that the prostitute? What did he, how did he start as? How did this guy get his start? Um. Oh my God. So many posts. He's a neat. He's a wow as a wow streamer. So he got a, I was right. He was a wow streamer. Now he's a reaction streamer. Okay. Um, and he hasn't, he's like an XQC where he has an a certain amount of money just reacting. Um, and then there was like, I'm gonna have to find this actually. I don't have the fun clip of the roaches crawling on him. Ready to expect me to draw a moral line. I have to perceive a difference that I consider substantial. And I do not consider the difference substantial. Do you guys? No. Right. No. And that's really what matters. If it was made with AI, I'm completely okay with that because it was fun. The evidence it is that matter. Nobody really cares the lead about this. developer has been very positive about AI in the past yeah. and made an AI game We're gonna play called this, by AI the way. Art Imposter that lets yeah. an AI artist draw a picture. And so that, that was like like one of the yeah, games. We're going to be playing and, this this week. Yes, just generally has been much more uh, positive about some of the benefits of AI rather than what is the normal sentiment amongst artists and, and you know, I guess general uh, Twitter population, which is that, you know, AI is bad and it takes jobs from well, people. Well, AI and the sentiment from artists, artists' opinions don't matter. It just doesn't matter because what matters is the opinion of the people that are buying the product. Like, it doesn't, like, your opinion on it, like, just because you do it doesn't, like, nobody cares. Like, it, 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 it's not, it's not relevant. It's like whenever one of these, like, you know, really well-respected and, and really respectable uh, directors talks about how bad Marvel is. Shut up, old man. Shut up. I like watching the Thor movie. It was cool. I mean, on one hand, it's like, yeah, p things are worth what people are willing to pay for it. Uh, the problem is, is that it seems to reward like the worst kind of media ever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, it seems like what the ma like, it seems like what the masses want want to promote is the worst slop ever put out ever. Because I think it's like, if a midwit will enjoy something. A retard will also enjoy it. So when you combine the retard and the midwit demographics together, uh, it, it constitutes like what? Like 80% of the population. And that's what's like the most economically viable market out there. Whereas if you try to target like intelligent people, uh, the issue becomes then that you exclude all the retards like immediately. And then you segment your audience even further because like intelligent people have a more diversified taste. So you're not even going to capture like all of the intelligent people with your, your product. You're going to only capture uh, intelligent people who also align with what your product is. Whereas if you just make like the most middle of the line, boring slot possible that triggers neurons correctly, uh, you'll, you'll get most of the retards and, and midwits, right? Um, that's how it feels. I don't know. As far as like AI, my, I can't I can't criticize AI too much because I I've I benefit from it already. Like the way that these these deep learning models work has completely revitalized my enjoyment of programming. 
Um, I use GitHub's Copilot with VS Code. Uh, I, I, I usually like I, I switched to VS Code a couple of years ago, and it integrates into GitHub. And I I hate GitHub. I hate Microsoft, and I really don't want to support any of these products. But the thing with GitHub's Copilot, I've I've demonstrated this on stream before, but you can just start typing, and it will guess what you want to do very accurately especially if you're working in a very popular language like javascript like i work in javascript rust and sometimes c if i really have to but when i was working in c for the first time um the git like the github copilot was able to guess what i was doing and do it correctly so i was able to to work in a language i was unfamiliar with because it was able to understand what i was trying to do and help me along with that and it's kind of hard to explain if you don't work in in programming but before for as long as i can remember the the biggest struggle that i had with coding is that i had to remember i, I have very short like poor memory i guess i uh, i don't know how to, not all the time just like in general i have memory issues so when i do coding i have to remember all these different functions and i have to remember the the order of their parameters and i have to remember like what they are and, and what the most efficient way to do certain tasks are and it's very difficult for me so i i continually have to pull up like an api reference and figure out what i'm doing again and again for the same shit. like i i just have a serious issue remembering um calls and the order of parameters and it's it's a very uh, it's a it's a obstacle because when I'm trying to be productive, you know, it, it's a if I know I have to start developing all this new functionality, it's like a real obstacle to overcome. Like actually organizing all this code and remembering all these these basic things over and over again, and and getting to work on it. Um, so when when I just start typing code and in, in GitHub like guesses what I want and just automatically fills out all this asinine bullshit that I, that I can't remember, I can just move past it. I don't have to sit there and think and ask for help in like chat rooms and shit for programmers to remember the same fucking shit over and over again. It just like, it knows immediately what I want. And then of course you edit, you, you audit it to make sure that that's actually correct, but it almost always is. Um, so it has like totally revitalized and, and improved my ability, uh, to stay productive. Um, it's very, 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 very cool. So I like AI. Um, now, as far as this guy goes, he lives in trash. This was this was the point of this. This uh, he he had like a roach crawling on him at some point, and I couldn't find the roach clip. If you if you can find the roach clip, um, please send that to me in the chat because this is where the filth he lives in. They are, and that's true. But not in terms of my room. A lot of people think that uh, it's actually not as bad as it is, and I'm probably gonna clean it today. But I don't want I don't want to lose the memory. And so got three drinks here. This is McDonald's, McDonald's, uh, Long John Silver's. The fuck is that? Whataburger, Taco Bell, shoes, that thing I found in the street. Um, that's one, that's my bed. Uh, Wendy's. Just, yeah. I don't even remember when I had that. Um, here's my desk. There we go. My character, fucking awesome. This is Drake. And I've got up here, we have some Whataburger numbers. Some fucking Mountain Dew. More McDonald's drinks. I probably have... 30 McDonald drinks here. And see, first it started on my desk, right? And then put a couple of them behind my monitor. Ran out of room. Started putting them down here. And uh, this is the one from today. Um, uh, that was good. And then I have some from over here. This is actually where I've been putting them recently. That I don't even know why I put that. I've got some on top of my uh, computer there. And let's see what we actually have in here. Hmm. Fuck. Got magic cards too. And this, uh, these red cups. Let's see. 
it's like pink lemonade. That, uh, let's get a better look at that. That's molded over Coke. That's, uh, that's more molded over Coke. This one's one of my favorites here. I don't even know how long this has been here. And um, that's just disgusting. And then we have, that's, that one's only starting to mold, so got a little bit. Very cool. Is this, um, is this him in his room or is this like a hostile entity? To an AI artist draw a picture? Is that, or is the opinion? That's great. And then, is this him? It's the same room, but yeah, but like, is this, uh, is this the guy? Yes, that's Asmund. Okay, cool. I was wondering if this is like, someone was talking about Hassan Piker. I'm like, is this Hassan Piker filming this? Okay, someone sent me the roach clip. Um, I might have to, sw oh, it does work. Okay, let's see this. Very cool gamer chair. It's a good sign. Oh. You like free the audio's cut. Oh, it's one of them. Ah, ew, ew. And then he just throws it on the ground. Get out of here, you little scamp. Oh no, Hassan! Hassan, no, don't do it. You can hear in the background. <laughs> Bro, that's insane. How do you like how do you not have like a panic button at that point? Like <laughs> if there's an urgent threat of like a roach attack at any second, how do you not have like a button on your desk to press <laughs> for like a be right back screen or something? A little smile, like a little smiley face that pops up and is like, be right back, smiley face. While you're like desperately trying to, to fling a cockroach off of you. <laughs> Amazing. This guy sounds like fun chat. He doesn't have a thread. Can you believe that? He doesn't have a Kiwi's Farm thread. What's wrong with you people? I see people in my chat who are like, I used to watch him back when I was like gooning to World of Warcraft and shit. Like, come on. Like, I know this guy. Where, where's the fucking, where's the fucking thread, motherfucker? Come on now. He does have a thread. What? What? He's not that far. Bro, he's got a cockroach on him. He lives in trash. There was a video of him with like an Asian woman in his room. Is that the prostitute girlfriend? No, there is no audio, you dumb fuck. <laughs> the video has no audio. It's on the issue on my end. I don't know about the charity scam. I'll look up that later. I think that um he's in the Twitch thread, yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks so I changed the script. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.